day, what a day, what a day. In this beautiful city of New Orleans. We pulled it off. Second term, another four years. I'm TD now. And I get to keep being a TD. And I love that. But on a serious note, thanks be to God. You know, the Lord has a way of ordering your steps. Amen. And when you step out on faith to follow them, having no indication of where he might lead you, but stepping out and allowing him to use you for his good. That's what this means to me. I know that in service, it is not about self. It is about the city of New Orleans and her people who make her so special. And this city has had a sense of resiliency for over 300 years. And it is up to us to ensure that the cultural capital of the United States of America continues to thrive, not only for this country, but for the world. That is our city. That's our city. So I give it all, I give it all up, all up to the Lord for that. Also, my family. Who is, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much. You don't get to pick your family. The Lord does that as well. So it's really all God's plan, in my opinion. I want to thank all public officials who are in the room, my campaign team, my political director, Maggie Carroll, yeah. who's been with me. When I was president of the Broadmoor Improvement Association, Maggie was secretary, and we, didn't, we took no prisoners then. <laughs> Created a vision, stepped out on faith, and worked with the people to realize that. Thank you so much, Maggie, yeah. for your friendship, for your love, for your guidance. Bill Roussel, who introduced me. Thank you so much, Bill. You know, the Lord also has a way of sending people your way and proclaiming what you should be doing. And Bill whispered to me years before, even thinking about running for mayor, you should do this. I said, Bill, come on. But again, God's plan. All of the volunteers that stepped up leaned in relentlessly. We've always been grassroots, bottom up, out there on the streets from the first term, and it did not stop moving into this second term. I say thank you so much for your hard work. But most of all, but most of all, I have to thank the residents of the city of New Orleans who decided, as Pastor Watson said, who decided that they saw leadership in me that they did not want to let go of. And I say thank you for that. Because now is the time, I believe it. We've made significant significant progress under the first term. Because what we do, we don't kick cans, we pick them up. We don't play dodgeball. We look for the ball and we kick it. We face challenges in order to fix them, however they come our way. We work hard, we don't lie, and we don't steal. We work hard. And we do it consistently, and we've done it over and over and over again. And we will continue to do that in the next four years. 
because I believe in the people of this city, but more importantly, I believe that this is our time to play to our strengths and the assets that we have in this city. And what we do now within the next four years will determine the next 40 or 50. So we don't have time to waste. We have to go to work and we have to continue to get it done. So continuing to ensure that infrastructure is our priority and infrastructure is not just roads and streets and bridges and drainage, which it is, but it's also transportation and technology and affordable housing. And it's also our people. So we will continue to invest heavily as we've demonstrated. But also, the city of New Orleans is positioned nicely in this United States of America because of the investments that we have made. And here recently, and I know on the front line and pushing for the passage of this most recent legislation at the federal level for infrastructure, this is our time. And we're positioned, and I say that because we have an opportunity to leverage additional federal money against our public money that our people decided that we would spend through bond sales and with the credit rating that was improved a year and a half in. This is our time. So we, we can't waste it. We cannot waste it at all. In terms of overall quality of life in our city, we can do this. Clean up our city for the long haul and not just about solid waste collections. Because we had an issue we know long time. But we can do this. We can make sure that we're creating jobs of the future, which goes back and speaks to infrastructure in our community. We can turn around the injustices in terms of environmental injustices, like our Gordon Plaza community. I've heard you over the past three and a half years. And not only have heard you take necessary steps that align clearly with the infrastructure package that we have an opportunity to gain additional resources to invest in our city. This is our time. We know that the 100-day storms, that's gone. Because we're getting them now every five years in an upward of 15 years. So it means that we have to continue to play to our strengths in regards to our green infrastructure, building for the future, sustainable, resiliency. That's who we are. So it is our time to embrace the great assets that we have in this city and play to our strengths. Every single neighborhood in the city of New Orleans will receive capital investment and improvements because we realized a premium from that bond sale on an upward of $379 million unprecedented in this city. It's unprecedented. But again, it speaks to this is our time. Public safety, no doubt about it having to not only focus on violent crime, but focusing on a comprehensive strategy that we put in place and we will fully realize the vision of meeting our people where they are, investing in our young people through early childhood education, focusing on prevention and intervention, and of course, apprehension. We have to but also retaining the officers that we have who've demonstrated on that national stage that our department is second to none. It's time for us to understand and embrace that. Constitutional policing is happening in the city of New Orleans where it's not happening elsewhere. It's happening right here. Be proud of that. We must. And we must also, when we talk about infrastructure, and we learn so much from every storm like Ida about in terms of our, our grid, our utility grid. And it's an opportunity for us to have renewable energy platforms. We can do this, but this is our time. So I want you to know, we're gonna
we're going to do a couple things moving forward. As we've already demonstrated. Yeah. Naysayers, uh-uh. No time for naysayers either. No time for it, because our time is right now. And like my good old friend Michael Bloomberg said to us brother and sister mayors across the country, he said, you know what about naysayers? He said, the power belongs to those who do not follow them. So the power is in this room. The power is in this city, because we're not following that. And also, let me say this. We're not looking right now so close to who's going to be the next mayor, because I'm the mayor right now. Yeah, I'm the mayor right now. Mayor right now. And the mayor that the city of New Orleans need for a time such as this. And let me tell you something. If you believe in a lame duck, not Latoya Cantrell, uh-uh. Because we don't have time for that. And I know that it's something that you're not looking for either. Because every day matters. I don't care if it's two weeks left on the job. But I'm going to give this city what I've demonstrated that I can give all that I have. And have a team in place. And thank you to all of my leadership team, all employees of the city of New Orleans, who haven't let up and we will not. Our future is bright in our city. We're going to play to our strengths. We're going to turn a eye, not look to naysayers, because we're focused on doing the job and getting results that we can stand on 40 and 50 years from now, meaning our children. This is about the future of the city. And I want you to know that I wake up every single day fired up. I wake up every single day prayed up. I wake up every single day sometimes by myself and like, okay, oh, it's a little lonely at the top sometimes. But you have to make tough decisions. And that's why I'm so rooted and grounded in my faith. Because this future, the city of, this city deserves nothing less. So I'm gonna give it all I have. I love you so much. I love the people of this city. And like uh, Big Chief Howard said, <laughs> Big Chief, because you know, for the first time in our history, we stopped focusing heavily on marketing our people without investing in them. And I mean the culture of this city. So with the leadership of my administration for the first time, turning tax dollars over in fair share and investing directly into that culture. And Big Chief accepted that grant award of over 20,000, putting it into our masking community. And he said, you know what? This is good, <laughs> but it must continue. So let's do what this city deserves because she is world-class and we are world-class. So let's be proud about it and let's be focused on a brighter future because we're all worth it. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless the city of New Orleans.